Fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. Come here, president. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Gavo TV here with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. Right, so I'm going to. I'm well, I'm currently in Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to go find the setups. There we go. The imaginary setups. Yo, y'all wanna know a fun fact? Is there's a picture on my oh oh my goodness. Oh, Alright, boom. But look, there's a picture on my Instagram and I took it in like a setup like this. I kid you not. I was gonna make sure like the, there was not enough. Like it was kinda like right here. Like I hear not to move everything out the way and just you know what I'm saying post it up because it actually looks real. Like if I do like this, what's the YouTube we'll do? Blah 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 blah. It kind of looks real. There's nothing's in the cabinets. So you gotta go like from right here. So I mean, but it wasn't this one. This setup wasn't as good as the other one. Treat the fridge though. I see what's in here. But I'm gonna talk to y'all about. Oh my! Why does it smell like that? Hey, is that wood in there? How y'all feel about these? These are interesting to me. They go out both ways. But one thing I want to talk to y'all about. Let me close this. One thing I want to talk to y'all about is the, um, what's it called? The thumbnails. The thumbnails I've been using, they're great. They're working pretty well. I just put one on my streaming, uh, my streaming video. I, I think it boosted it a little bit. I also promoted it on my Instagram so y'all can go look at it. Like, this whole time I haven't promoted it. It was just straight no promo. Now, I promoted it on my thing. And, you know what I'm saying? It should boost up. It should do it a little better. But, um, what's another thing about the thumbnail? There's something else I want to talk about. The thumbnail, I tried to do the thumbnail myself. And it's going to be on this video. So, it's going to, you got to see if it's good or not. This lady is loud as heck. I ain't going to lie. I don't know what. It's random. But, yeah, what's... I can't even focus. This lady talking too loud. Okay, she's on talking now. But one thing is uploading from computer. That did not work. Look at this. Yeah, uploading computer didn't change anything. What in the world? That's disgusting. No, man. Nah, but look. Uploading. I seen this thing too. Huh? I'll tell y'all. Someone who actually took a shower in one of these. Like jokingly. As a YouTube friend. That was wild. But... Yeah, it didn't work uploading it on the computer. I thought it was just gonna, you know what I'm saying, make the video do well, and it did, so I was wrong. I think it was actually, the thumbnail was good, which is fine, because I'm gonna continue to do those thumbnails. But also, another thing is that when, what's it called? It wasn't, when you upload it from the computer, it uploads on your phone too, so it's kind of helpful uploading it, so on your phone, you don't have to just sit there and have it on one screen at one time. If you know, you know, but, Today I'm doing a reaction video of what's it, what's it called? Uh, Tommy G, Tommy G reaction video. I don't know how I made it all the way down here, but hey, I'm down here. But yeah, Tommy G's reaction video. That's all I'm doing today. And also, I did a stream yesterday. I'm streaming again tonight. Great W stream. You know what I'm saying? Great stream. I've been playing Roblox lately. It's actually fun to say. But yeah, streams are going great. I'm about to be affiliated. By Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to be affiliated. So, yeah, it's going to be great stuff. But, let me get right back to boys. All right, so, made it back to the crib. Um, Yeah, hold on. I'm not going to show that. Well, forget I'll keep it in the video. But, um, uh, what I am going to show y'all. Excuse me, by the way. I just burped. But, I'm going to show y'all my stream. Stats. So, look. I hit 50 followers. I hit eight hours stream per month. I'm at 11. Seven streams, streaming days. Matter of fact, I can show y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let me get right. All right, boom. So, stream for eight hours, I stream for 11. Stream on seven different days. I stream for five so far. I just need stream for two more. Average stream viewers, I average 21. So, yeah. All I gotta do is stream today and tomorrow, and boom, now I'm affiliated. Now I'm affiliated, and that's what's gonna happen, because today we're going to stream. Today, we're gonna have a great stream, too. You know what I'm saying? And I added my stream schedule. As you can see, it's Saturday. Wait, what? Your next stream info? That's, oh, okay, okay. I don't know if that was a thing or not. 
But yeah. Yeah, but I don't know why it says that. Hold on, let me see something. Let me pull up my OBS real quick. I don't understand why it says Mother Day stream for my next stream info. Let me check right here and see. Because that wasn't my stream name for some reason. Mother's Day stream. I guess it was. I guess it was. It didn't look like that, though. The title of the stream? It wasn't like that. It was called New Live, I think. Let me see. Content video producer. I'm back again. See? I don't know why these are called I'm back again. But the actual stream is called Mother's Day stream. I don't get it. I don't understand. But hey. It is what it is. But I'm going to show y'all something. That I kind of figured out. So, oh, look at yo. That's beautiful, boy. I don't, even though I'm on my Gabo TV live account, that's still beautiful, boy. Look at that. That's tough. That's tough. Love to see it. Hold on. Let me switch the account, though. Let me, let me go back to the regular account. All right. Boom. Here we go. So, we're going to go to... Then skip it to flip it, still making music. I don't even know that. But, all right, boom. So, gonna go. I right, see, so see here. Playboy Master vs. Silky War in the New Phase House. It is 141 views. But I kind of use the same title as Agent. Same thing with this one. Because for Agents, hold on, let me show y'all. For Agents, hold on, let me go to this channel. Aiden. I'm about to type in Agent Aiden Ross. All right, boom. Agent Double Zero. Then I went to. Uh, what was that video called? Oh, Silky. Oh, no, it's Playboy Max. So you can see here. I can't find it, but I'll title it just like Agent. Let me see. Phase. Here you go. Wait, yeah. Playboy Max first 24 hours in the face house. So instead, it was just him and Silky battling. So I did Playboy Max versus Silky War in the new face house. See? Now I'm turning it kind of into my own. Here, Kai, Sana, Elden Ring, Marathon trailer. I think I got mine from Agent 2. I think this one was from Agent 2. Let me double check. Agent, Kai, Sana, trailer. Y'all can't even type my hand in. What the heck? Oh, can I not type? One handed trailer. All right, boom. All right, agent reacts to Kaz seven days in trailer. Oh, this is actually one. Well, yeah. So you can see how I, I kind of use Kasna. I just put this at the end of it. This part. Cast that other ring right down trailer. I could have did that though. Yeah, what's he reacts to Kai's seven days blah 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 trailer? I'm gonna try that. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave it how it is. But it's still did well. These two did well. But this one, I just I copied Quans. But it did okay. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, I'm gonna show you Quans. This is how his thumbnails look. This is how his titles look. So I bought him a red, Hellcat red, dot, 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 dot. Then you got the, hold on, let me show you the thumbnail. It was kind of like this one, as you can see. But yeah, I see what works and see what doesn't. So far, the reaction thing is working, but I'm going to try to title it the same as Agent. And see if it does well. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Agent might know something I don't know. And he titling, titling that. In a certain title in his video in a certain way so that he can you know what I'm saying gain a lot of views. So I'm gonna try the same thing and see if it gives me views so far it's working so far. So I'm gonna try it again on this video and see what happens. Okay. But it's it's uh what you call it time? It is reaction time. We're gonna react to Tommy G. So let's pull up the video, y'all boys. It's a box underground box fox. Ooh, I can't even talk. Underground Fight Club in the Bronx. So, we gotta make sure I press start recording, not start shooting. So, yeah, let's get straight to the recording. All right, boom. All right, boom. Boom. Recording. 
We're live in the face. So, let's go to the reaction. Let's get straight to it. Boom. Forex.com. Oh, is too loud. The number one turn Forex down. broker in the U.S. L.A. L.A. Oh, Damn. Oh, they, are they in a box truck? Tommy G, this is an underground fight club in the Bronx. Let's get ready to rumble. Underground? They're like a truck. I think that's a box truck. I might be wrong. Hey, whoa. Yeah, oh, I, I paused in the wrong part. Wrong part. All right, but look, though. I think that's a box truck. The way that it's looking, it's like it's like a box truck or like a big U-Haul van almost. Or U-Haul truck. That's what I think. So I don't know why you named it underground, but maybe they got some underground part and a uh, box truck part, or this is just what it looks like. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Boy, strong boy. Yep. See what I tell y'all. There's something unbelievably captivating about watching a fight. I can still remember vividly when two kids in high school fought because one told the other that his haircut made him look like Justin Bieber. The whole <laughs> melee lasted about 40 seconds, but it was the talk of the school for many weeks. Humans love fighting. There's a reason why a book like Fight Club has a cult following and why MMA is one of the most popular sports. Humans love fighting. Back in the day, a good old man would solve a problem when words failed to work. You trade a couple shots, get a bloody lip, and you shake hands and squash the beef. But nowadays, that seems to have gone away. Many popular rappers have proudly stated that they don't fight no more they'll just shoot it out i don't think that's something to be proud of this escalation of force has led to many people dying over petty things when a simple knuckle sandwich would have been enough there's been a cowardly and disturbing trend of people either sucker punching or jumping someone with multiple people and there's no honor in that well thank god folks for kill a mike he's a new york resident committed that's a to fact the gun violence and that is a fact an outlet to get their aggression out in a healthy and relatively safe way his group rumble in the bronx is an underground fight club that runs by the motto guns down gloves up today we meet him in the parking lot of a strip club to see guys throw down in the back of an 18-wheeler truck trailer. Nah, in the back of a strip club is crazy. So you tell me they go from straight boxing and a, a box truck to uh, as soon as they get done, they just stay straight to the strip club and have fun. That's the celebration. That's the after party after the match. Fun, that's funny. Wild, good cause. And you start live streaming this. I ain't gonna lie. If they start live streaming this. I better get views for real. All they need is, you know what I'm saying, a camera or a phone or something. And it's just recorded. Tell them boys download the prison map. Hold on, I'm gonna put y'all alone though. I know I keep pausing, but I'm gonna put y'all alone. If y'all ever. Let me full screen, let me full screen. Listen, if y'all ever wanna start streaming, this is what y'all do. Or doing in real life streams at least. If you wanna do an IRL stream or an in real life stream, this is what you do. You download the prism app. You connect your Twitch account or Kick account, whatever account you got. Put your stream key in there, whatever, and press live. That's it. Now you're doing in real life streams. And you can stream from anywhere in the world as long as you got Wi Fi. So make sure y'all boys check that out. Make sure y'all see if it's helpful for you or something that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, back to the, back to the reaction. Back to the reaction. Folks, we are in for an absolute treat today. We're getting to check out an underground fight club in the Bronx. Which sounds crazy, and it is. These guys are wild. They fight laundromats, 18-wheeler trucks, bodegas. Oh, that's what that is. A 18-wheeler. I'm saying a box truck. Whole time it's an 18-wheeler. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, their motto is sense. guns down, gloves up, just like our friends are in Street Beefs. And this is an organization that allows young men to duke it out in a way that doesn't result in someone's life being taken. New York is famous for its gun violence. It's a big issue in the city right now. And this is another avenue to express that aggression and anger and just that masculine, uh, that masculine grit that comes <laughs> to us as men. I've competed most of my life doing wrestling, competed doing jujitsu, done a cage fight myself. So I know, like, we got that dog in us. Even people like me who I'm gonna say you got the dog in us. So I'm out. Is he sitting there recording off of his phone? And this is what is uh, B roll? That walk that dog without the dog so, uh, We're meeting with her contact, kill a mic, driving to Hunts Point in front of a strip club, which is a, a venue for a fight that I didn't ever think would happen. Let's go meet our friend, kill a mic, and see what he's about. <sighs> Where do you get these song choices from? 
Yeah. Oh, dang. I watched that video. That's crazy. How did they get a whole truck, though? Killer Mike is a Bronx resident passionate about giving people a safe outlet to channel their aggression. He believes his organization provides people a healthy alternative to gun violence. He's been running this fight club for years and has had people throw down at places like bodegas, laundromats, and warehouses. Why do they call you Killer Mike? I had a Killer Mike hook back in the day growing up, and I was always the one to protect my boys, protect the f***ing, protect the ones that should be picked on, mm -hmm. and I just had that one hit a quitter. And then they also call me Killer because, you know, they were the, you know, the baddies. I don't know if I curse my hand, but the bad is. I'm Tommy. How you doing, man? Nice hey, to meet you. Likewise, Tommy. I like to do different shit, you know? This fight club has been out since before we was born, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, how can I come in the game and make my imprint, make my styles different from everybody's style? Are there other fight clubs in New York right now? Yeah. Copycats. They call it one of the beef on the Bronx. They're not. What is the other <laughs> venue or location you've done fights in before? We've done warehouses, we've done laundry mats, we've done grocery stores, we call it Rumble in the Bodega. That's uh, insane. Yeah. We've done 18 weather before, we've done inside of the strip club. Uh, inside? Uh, that's crazy. How many people do you think we can fit in here? I'm trying to do just 40 people. Oh, that's so a crazy setup, though. Not only are we in New York City, but we Hold on, look at that, though. Look at that setup. You got, like, the little thing, so it's separate. <laughs> Imagine they make a VIP section, you know what I'm saying? Up front, VIP, you sit there and eat and watch them fight. Nah, that'd be interesting. Imagine you start charging for this. That'd be wild. Hey, W Profit, though. If he is. I don't know if it's legal, though. But, hey. <laughs> we doing something. Let's look at New York gun violence. After California, New York has the second strictest gun laws in the nation. In 2021, the governor issued an executive order declaring a state of emergency due to gun violence. This created a council on gun violence and treats gun violence not only as a criminal issue, but as a public health issue as well. In the last two years, the NYPD has confiscated over 14,000 guns, and from 2022 to 2023, shootings decreased by over 25%, a reduction of 400 fewer people being shot. Many times, New York City is portrayed as a lawless shithole, but to be fair, when you look at the trends over the last 30 years, crime is down over 76% since 1990. Another statistical trend to consider is that since the Dang, is that true, though? Is it really more than Chicago? If y'all looked at the chart, I don't know. So the murders per year in 10 largest U.S. cities. It was at 2,000. Then it went down. Also, oh, now it's less than Chicago. So the top one, Los Angeles more? What? So what's the top now? Now is... The like is New York. No, Chicago, Chicago. Chicago is top. Second is New York, surprisingly. Uh right here is I think which I think? I think purple's above. What is purple? Houston? For real? And then Philly. After that is Dallas. Hmm. So the last is just San Diego. Interesting. I'm surprised Atlanta not on there. <laughs> ain't gonna lie. Oh, that's 2015, though. So that probably changed now. Another statistical trend to consider is that since the pandemic, overall. Or, hold. Nah, maybe he's just showing the stats just to show him. Maybe. I don't know. Or just for the B roll, maybe. Now, there's a common belief going around that the places with the strictest gun laws have the most gun violence. Let's look at what some of the numbers have to say. A study out of Drexel University says that New York has the lowest gun violence rates among U.S. major cities. Furthermore, a study by Every Town Research shows that the states with the highest gun law violence rates... Oh, so they got the, the lowest? City, Alabama, Missouri... Have oh, okay, okay, I get it now. That's out of the... That... That... The cities that they chose, not the whole United States. Okay, so that... That chart we just went through, it's not... New York is number one in the whole United States. It's just for that chart, pretty much. Or you feel me? So that makes sense. Now you can find stats to back up whatever argument. All right, I had to leave real quick and come back. It might be cut out. It might not. It depends. But we're gonna go back to the video. Have and the counter argument to strict gun laws is that the criminals won't obey the gun laws in the first place. So strict gun laws will only hurt the citizen that wants to protect themselves and embolden the criminal with the gun. Hmm. 
What are you? I'm trying to bring it back to the old school feeling, you know, where you get your respect by fighting a one on one. So I also treat this game like a Harlem basketball game, though. You know, they make fun of you. Mm -hmm. So when we fight, we make fun of them, you know, we mm -hmm. joke on them. And it's all to bring in that, like, this shit is gangster, it's negative, it's raw, but it also has a positive outcome. Hunts Point is supposed to be one of the craziest neighborhoods in New York. Right. We were just across the street in that basketball court with the Trantarios yesterday. Yeah. So there are people roaming through this territory. No, yeah, it's no a, joke here. It's no joke here, that's for sure. Okay. Even through, like, the gangs of New York, you know, the blood, the clip, the trick, like they all heard of us and they all respect what we stand for. Everyone respects this method and how they stand for. This is Trey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. I put my life on the line. I took the risk. I'm working daily every night, dropping. So this show is sponsored by Versatile, which is my brother's company. He owns 18 Relives. He also owns Body Shop. Oh. So that's how he got it. So we got with the budget. Community's here for us. And that's what we love about it. So this is one with the 18 Relives, you know? I'm guessing from the layout that we're just doing boxing. It's not like it's going to the ground. There's no chokes, no wrestling. You don't want to kill nobody. You had a reason for the tight quarters up. Can you tell us about that? Most of my brothers is locked up right now. And they're doing time. They're doing 10 to 15. And some of them is not coming out. With that being said, you know, there's no room in jail to fight and a lot of people out here in the streets they quick to grab their guns and shoot now realizing that when they do get locked up for that shit they're gonna have to end up fighting again yeah and there ain't mm. gonna be no space to fight there's barely one-on-ones in there but here we're gonna do one-on-ones and we're gonna treat this like the, the jail bathroom where they have you in the fighting jail before. okay no, so that I makes sense the small jail. areas any I, I was thinking just so they won't be able to run but that means something start making change in the street and what have you seen is the impact of doing this we done changed families. We even made the news for saving two brothers. Oh. Yeah, they was trying to kill each other in the street. Real brothers. Their mother hit us up. They don't fight at the show. Angry teenage sons to the underground fight club in 2018, which she says gave them the opportunity to put their gloves on and leave it all in the ring. From when their bum did just that, squash their beat. No, nah, that's crazy. Them from a lot of black up, six feet under. Through stories like these, they hope it inspires others to switch from guns to gloves. They cried, hugged it out, mother was crying, and the friends down. People in the audience was crying, you know, it was that right there, it was like, touch, touch. That's what we That's do, why. we do something good. I didn't even know nothing about this. You know, someone died, got shot, we'll have signs up saying, stop killing us, stop doing all this. I started to realize that, you know, this is pointless. Killers is not paying attention to this. The street dudes is not paying attention to it. What's paying attention is these non-profit organizations, the politicians, and everybody else that want to be like, yo, come over here, let me show you how to open up a non-profit so that we can get some money, and everything's about mm. money, 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 but like, now nah, he's speaking facts though. That is true. I only did one cage fight in my day, but I remember afterwards, me and him were sitting next to the paramedic, they were taking our paws, making sure we were good to go. But it was like we knew each other our whole life, even though 10 minutes ago we were just trying to punch each other, choke each other. Afterwards, it's like, oh man, like, you hug them. It's something weird that fighting someone brings you closer yes, to someone. It does. You have a wrestling, you have a ring girl, you want to throw some money at her, you know, have a good time, you know what I'm saying? She's going to shake her nice ass. Back I'm going to keep my eyes what? tied that can't <laughs> But I don't know. We'll see what happens. No, that's one thing I don't want to have is Tommy G versus the wife. Yeah. Right? She's wonderful. She's beautiful. Fellas, stay true to your wife. Shout out Sweet Chicks. Oh, I'll be I used to fight for a fight club first called BA Fight Club. And that's how I got my name. Like, after that fight club went out of business, I kept asking, wait, like, what's up? Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. You know, the hood needs it. And they were like, yo, take over. It's yours. Like, run your own show. And then I brought this aspect to it. You know, different sceneries and all this. But I met him okay. throughout that fight club. So that's Once interesting. I and I ended up getting jumped in front of that club. I got cut in my face. I know a lot of guys around here are carrying shanks. We learned that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, everybody carries shanks and guns here. That's what they do. Nobody want to fight with these. Do you feel like the streets have lost their code a little bit? That people are willing to do that? Just a little bit. You know, one thing New York don't like to f with is rats. We don't f for rats. If you're a snitch, you're a b The hip hop game is now glorifying 6 9 gutter. It's changing the game. This generation is just like losing themselves. As long as the music sounds good, they don't care anymore. And that's crazy. Back in the day, you would lose day. your whole reputation. I've never seen 6 9 go to this f New York City. You can't come to Hunt's Point. I would love to see that. Like, I would really <laughs> love to see that. Let me ask you about the whole rat. If someone takes out your baby mama and you know who did it, are you a rat if you tell the police? No, I'm taking him off. But oh, are, are you, you a rat, rat if you tell yeah. the police? You are a rat. The point is for you to handle your own situation. Situation. You kill my son? You think I want you to rot in jail? No, I want you to die, motherfucker. I, I saw there's one clip, I don't know if it's a mom or a dad, but they pretended to be on the phone in a telephone booth with a gun, and when the suspect walked by, they <laughs> your son. Do you really the world? Oh, that's why. Yes. What makes you say that? Kids, shoot kids. I've been in New York City over 30 years. I haven't seen as much violence with kids. 
since I've been here. Everything's about smoking on this, smoking on this, smoking on this. Bro, like, kids don't go to school no more. Ever since COVID happened, kids get to stay home. That made it even worse. Let's talk about how the COVID mm. era has affected education in the last couple of years. Let's talk about how COVID impacted learning around the country. The closure of schools and the switch to remote learning. I ain't gonna lie, that's, I can see that too. God, in New York, they packed up on top of each other. So literally, all they gotta do is walk out the house. Research from America. And they got so much time. Well, actually, now it's during COVID. It's the whole time they in the house and getting mad. <laughs> in fact, reading and math scores dropped so significantly that it can be said that the learning gap COVID produced was even greater than the gap experienced by kids who had to evacuate New Orleans because of Hurricane Katrina. Since school has come back in session, there have been higher rates of violence and misbehavior. And with crash out rappers like Baby Key emerging from this generation, this is why people are saying kids are on demon time. <laughs> Your first fight. Sure. What made you decide to sign up for this fight? I've always been a fighter, you know, I've done amateur fights. Okay. Always been around that area, but just so like it, man. Like both, boy. I gotta see who we fighting though. I'm gonna let y'all know my predictions. <laughs> How do you participate, though? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit there and DM him, like, yo, I'm trying to participate. I'm trying to, you feel me? That a fact. If you're going to get that buff, do I got the buff? Dude. I'm keeping the buff. I'm not gonna say yeah, cause I just gotta jump in those fights. <laughs> but yeah. What do you think about that? Cause more and more people are, are comfortable with jumping other people. What do you think about that? That's weak. If you can't fight one on one, there's no point of you calling yourself a gangster or something. Like How many people have jumped you? Four. Multiple times. That's Four crazy. Different. Does your mother know you're here? <laughs> yeah, she does. I don't want to bring her cause I don't want her to see me fighting. Is there any message you have to the people? Don't be scared to do nothing. That's it. How'd you find out about this fight club? Through Instagram. Got the pass to one little girl. So that's what I'm saying. And just EDM, like, I'm gonna get in. Went down in the first and got put to sleep in the second. So you're actually trained by. Yeah. I interviewed at least one guy so far who never is trained, just hopping off the couch to do that. I feel like that's a bad idea. Totally bad idea. Does your mom know you're here? Yeah. What does she think about it? She's not really proud of me fighting in the first place, but she supported my idea. You know what I'm saying? What are you excited about for tonight? One guy's got a lot of heart. You know, he's got a lot of you know, he's very good at what he does. And he likes to hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> The mission of the channel is always to show you the real raw shit. I don't know if it gets more raw than this. We're gonna get a bite to eat, then get into the action. I'm excited to be here, excited to be alive, excited that this is my job. Thank you guys for tuning in, because without you, I'll be back at my sales job, staring at my Kiwiko one to do things that I can't say on YouTube. So let's go eat. <laughs> Before? Yeah. One of the girls punched us so hard, her weave bunched through all. Damn. Wants to fight a female. Folks, we all know how sports can change a kid's life. I'm investing in Milwaukee Youth Wrestling. We had a private fundraiser event at the Oriental Theater. We raised over 40 grand. We're continuing it though, because we gotta hire coaches, do transportation, scholarships for the kids. Damn, that's crazy. I don't even know that. Money into this GoFundMe. Please consider donating. I don't have corporate money in Milwaukee backing me. It's just YouTubers and people back in this movement consider donating to the link it all goes to milwaukee youth wrestling i appreciate your support excited for what we can do for milwaukee wrestling is a sport that changed my life i just want to give it back to the kids that's nice they doing something nice for his community that's that and he got a clothing brand too what's it called he, what is it called big dogs gotta eat too i think that's what it's called he got given like hats out to different in different videos that's crazy how they can block out the music though, not get copyrighted. So is that why they go to the strip club to go get the girls so they can easily just walk straight into the thing and be a ring girl? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out to support me last minute. No promo, no fly. We still made this shit happen. This shit is humble and a motherfucking 18 wheel truck. You know? Put my phone on the charger. Damn, I don't got the charger. Ah, matter of fact, I'm just plugging in here.
Our job today is to make some noise, go crazy, and support the whole jacket. Gun down, gloves up, right? Let's get ready to rumble. Nah, the rumble jacket kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie. Who they supply here? <laughs> Y'all got shirt off, dude. Yep, what I see. Off rip, okay. I can tell how you fight, you know. Oh, shit. They ain't Think about it, they really in an 18-wheeler truck right now, though. That's wild to think about. Oh, so they got teams? Hold on, is that teams? Or nah? Like on this on this side, it's in one team. The other side is another team. Or nah? Just gotta let the people in who are on the other side first. <laughs> <laughs> no, my stuff lagging. No, it's because my phone connected. Okay, guys, this is crazy. I've got to. No. Share with you. I was paying $164 in car. Pause it. It's because I put my phone on the charger, literally. It's because I connected it. Hold on. Let me, I got to get the other charger. I'm first player. Oh, so you said exactly the thing I said. That jacket too. <laughs> you hear me, you lose as well. I wonder what's the weight on the gloves, though. Dance, mm. so we'll be over here training for fights like this as well. Oh, yeah, that's left for sure. You know who's on this side? I think it was an absolute war. I think both guys did fantastic, but it's got to go to the man in the dreads, I think. Let's go. Yep. For sure, Skin. That was a hell of a fight. Tell me. So, what did they win? Did they win anything or not? It was a good fight. I ain't gonna lie. Man, we was banging back and forth, head down, swinging. But, nah, they probably just fighting because they like to fight, to be honest. Real talk. That's actually why. Can I get a 
Sí. You can tell his face getting red. He get mad. Or is this from him hitting him? Dang. Nah, he doing him bad. Oh, oh. Equal limit. <laughs> yeah, he was scientific lessons. Their brain, which is naturally suspended in fluid, accelerates slower than the rest of the head. When it finally catches up, the brain smacks against the skull, and this can result in a concussion. Also, when you get hit, it can throw the inner ear and vestibular system out of whack. This part of your body is responsible for balance, so hence why a fighter can stumble around after a good punch. Oh, we got 30 seconds on the clock. 10 seconds on the clock. 10, 9, Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Yeah, three times is crazy. Oh, that's why you want to knock out so you can put him back in. A good referee can make sure a fighter has a long career, and a bad referee is a recipe for dementia. Fight fans get Damn, why they just bad why they just pull example, out him? Former UFC ref Mario <laughs> He even has memes about him, like "If he dies, he dies," and "No lives matter." One of his oh. famous examples is when he tells unconscious fighter Travis Brown to defend himself. Mario's refing was so bad that Dana White said, "I think it's disgusting. I think he's disgusting, and I never want to see him refing ever again." In my opinion, this fight should have been. That's called. crazy. It's always easier to make a judgment sitting on the. And I do respect how much pressure comes along with being a rep. There's a fine line between calling it too early and calling it too late, and both results make people f mad. Refing is a tough job. That's why I ain't even know nothing about him, but now I do. That's crazy. At least he stopped it in, but like, look, he should have been stopped. It. You know who in Got him. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know who he's going against though. I ain't gonna lie. I think him. He look both. <laughs> but this is the main event. Oh yeah, they too. Yeah, like I told y'all, the dude in the white shirt. I think it was white shirt. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, the dude in the white shirt for sure. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, oh, yeah, what I say though. What I say. Dude, no white shirt. Dang, drop them. See, what I tell you. Yep, yeah, that's why. Oh, his nose bleeding. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Nah, he, I know that hurt, boy. Unless he got a cup thing. Be not, that's tough. Yo, L A L A L A L A L A. Alright, boom. Now let me get. They say, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Damn. I don't think he had a cup. I ain't gonna cap. His nose bleeding crazy though. He's a young man. Cut him and let him fight again another time. He's a young guy. Oh, he's still in the fight?
Let's see what I say though. Brick shit house. Mm -hmm. I would have been scared to fight you. That guy had the nuts to show up and do it. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. Uh, and he replied. I want to know his workout routine, boy. Yeah, so keep it simple and sweet. Yeah. Why is this important for you to do? Why is it important? Yeah. This is what I like to do. This is what I like. Okay. Any advice for the youth out there? Have fun. So this is your first time in the Bronx, right? Oh, yeah. You came all the way from New Jersey, and you came to the absolute trenches to fight in a truck. Um, I have a lot of respect. That's crazy. Come on away from New Jersey. Just go. Play, go, go fight. That's why. You guys just saw your friend fight. What was it like? I ain't gonna lie. I was trying to give him the advice. Like he said, the other guy was big. I was trying to tell him to push him up with the jab. And when he comes to step out, hook him up. Because the guy kept Oh, we be smoking. I might be doing while he got out of breath. I mean, that guy looks physically familiar, right? I mean, he was a pretty strong dude. It ain't nothing technical for everything. So why was it important for you guys to show up to this fight today? Not just because you're a friend, but like, tell me what's the importance of fighting mean to you? That's my heart, that's my man, you know what I'm saying? My heart, it's my heart, it's my man. <laughs> yeah. We're into, you know, fighting in general. It is good, nice physical sport. Yeah, I feel like it's discipline. Come on, what's it lagging? It is. Yo. But the video lagging, but the actual stream isn't right now. I'm gonna pause it. Hopefully, it don't lag. We almost done. Maybe six minutes left. What I learned is I gotta get. Alright. Like last time. I might cut it out. I might not. But I'm back. See, all he had no protection. That's no protection. It's crazy. Uh, hold on. Let me see my predictions. Uh, I don't know who I think will win. I'm gonna I'm just guess. I'm just guess right. I'm just guess right. Dang, five fights, though, it's crazy. This is great YouTube content. I ain't gonna lie. I don't really know how you could promo this, but it's good YouTube content, though, for sure. I don't know how. Like, how does it get people? I mean, Instagram. Hold the word in the mouth and all that. They get an audience, and then after get the audience, bring it to social media. I don't know. It's still interesting to see though. Let's see who won it though. I said it right. Oh yeah, yeah. I was right. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What am I? Two for two, I think. What are you doing? I thought he was about to not keep it going. Alright, yeah, he keep it going. Okay. Yeah, I was Yeah, he Yeah, I was right. He keep popping. I ain't gonna lie. Dang. I was right. I fit. I fit. I fit the right one. Two for two. For sure. That boy won. Yes, sir. Two for two. He got. Nah, he don't got more. He got more. I looked at him. Don't no, you got like? How many more minutes? A couple more minutes. Like. About to be five for us, man.
Oh, okay, so that's what the, the thing was. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. everybody go party. It's not just strip club. Right, right. Win, lose, or draw. If someone enters the ring, you gotta have respect for them. Yeah, and I respect us hard, man. You stood in there. Why is this important to you? Why do you keep doing this? Fighting has always been my anthem and my way out of everything. Any situation, an argument, anything. I can't stop fighting, bro. What would be your message to the kids out there that are looking for things to do or maybe feeling lost out there? Shout out to Team Moody. That's my mental health organization. I spread awareness to mental health. Shout out hmm. to the Moody kids. I can tell it means a lot to you. Yeah, 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 definitely. This is what I do. I fight. This is how I put on, man. This is how I put on. What I think is really cool is that people think fighting is all about, like, that grit and, and that uh, that fierceness, which it is. But it also brings out some of the best, like, the soft emotions that are really good to experience. Brotherhood, hey, connection. Hey. It's really cool to see. Uh, any other things on your hey, mind? He's speaking facts, right though. Like, after there you fight, you, 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 you start to, to, go to so kids feel have a place to go. relief, I guess you could say. Um, that's right in the square. That's the only gym I'm from over right now, man. Hey, great job tonight. Them boys be training just the box so here. Right. So That's interesting. Lot. But this might be people start, though. Let's see, now they come from here all the way to, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe UFC, maybe. You know what I'm oh, that's kickboxing. But that's all the boxing, I think. I don't remember how. Which is which. But they can make it to the boxing stage, too, though. I'm trying to get up here. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest. And then I just couldn't breathe. Like, you could tell I was gassed out, especially after the first few. You know what I mean? And let's say, bro, it's getting better, it's getting better. It's important for me to fight to get better. Yeah. Being gassed out in a fight or a match or a bout is always a scary thing because all of a sudden, it's tough. I've been there too, where you, you're drowning in deep water. Yeah, you gotta have stamina, though. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta have stamina. Go for likes. A whole lot of rounds and fight. If he wasn't, I'd have kept going. I mean, probably would have ended up different than the way it went. I think so. Especially young men, they want to keep going sometimes in the fight. There's a good time to call it. Call it a day and fight again another time. We just had a successful night. Some really good fights. What's going through your head right now, man? I'm just happy that we didn't get shut down. So we're in the corner of a very hot spot. Very hot. How did this work with police? Was it a chance that police were going to bust? It's a hit and miss. You know, we risked it all to save a life. You feel me? Like, we spoke with the police. You know, they told us, like, they're behind us as well. They watch our show. They support us. You know, so at the end of the day, there is laws that we got to follow. And it should be permits. And it should be, you know, the whole, okay. you know, being. Yeah, that's definitely about, not legal, but. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just feel like. I can't get that. I know because of the crowd we bring, the the, the the attitude we bring to the fight night, you know, and I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, what's most important is all the lives that's been losing out here, you know? You're a man on a mission, and I think that's the call for all of our lives, to find what our mission about, is. Well, you're you you talking about set, like, different, with different scenery, way, so I can't I say you just get a little place and you feel me most of it. I do want to add something. I do want to thank you for coming out. I see do, like, different sets like if you sit there and like i for this scenery today it's in the same place but the scenery look like a beach or the scenery look like 
Yeah, a bodega or the senior like grocery you, store, whatever. You feel me? Don't put the G at the end of Tommy for nothing. Oh man, mm -hmm. that's because you're respected everywhere you fucking go. And it's because you put on, you wear your heart and your sleeve like I do, mm -hmm. and we appreciate shit like that. You heard? Guys, my channel does not survive without people like this reaching out, and this is always an honor. Like I have the greatest job in the world because guys like you hit me up, and sure. it's fucking fantastic. So sure. uh, the sure. love is much back to you thank too. You, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate and, you. Uh, it's love for playing my platform with yours, man. Hey. Shout out to Rumble and the fucking ball. He's doing it like us, you heard? We'll see you next week. Yo, W, W video, W video, W video. Alright. Time to move back to the phone. Look up. Alright, back to the phone, back to the phone, back to the phone. I ain't gonna lie. It was a, it got a little laggy, you know what I'm saying? Which is fine, you know what I'm saying? It happens, you feel me? But the reason why it happened, because this core right here, I'm gonna show y'all. This cord right here is connected to the computer. So when I charge my phone, it takes a lot of stuff, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. But it messes up their stream recording or whatever you call it. But it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Because we still got the reaction in, even though it started to lag, which is fine. And I cut out the parts where I had to leave. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. The video isn't going to be, well, it is going to be a long video still, but I'm happy to produce videos back to back with long, you know what I'm saying, long time. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm happy to produce videos that's hour long or hour long videos. I'm happy to produce hour long videos. I can't even talk, y'all boys. But look, the reason why it's good to post hour long videos though, or maybe that might be a reason why my videos do well, but I think it's because I copy Asian's title, but it might do well just because it's hour long. Like, see, this is an hour and 32 minutes. That's crazy to think about. Almost two hours. It's almost a movie. But as you can see, it helps my watch hours. This watch hour thing been going up crazy. But probably because I'm posting. Because at first it's just like, I'm trying to make 20 minute videos every day. And that's what I've been doing. 20 minute plus videos every day. Except this one. This is like 16. But it's still more than I used to. So I was. I low key didn't even want to post it. I was just going to like. Add more minutes to it. But I didn't really know what to vlog. And I was just going to randomly just ramble. To be honest. And I don't think I had any reactions on this video. I might have. I don't think I did though. I don't know. But by the time I came home. I just wanted to just upload a video. Hop straight on stream. That's what I did. So that's the story behind that video. But as you can see, let's see what video. This video right here, I chose I bet. I'm going to try to make only 20 minute videos. And then that's what I've been doing. Except one time. That's it. But it's still a good amount. This is close. Kind of. <laughs> but yeah. Long videos for the win. So if y'all start a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? You can start with 10 minute videos plus. But you might want to upgrade a 20 minutes, hour long video, stuff like that. Hour long videos is kind of hard to produce. But when you're doing it how I'm doing it, it helps. Like, it's entertaining. But it also helps with, like, getting your watch hours and getting more getting more minutes in your videos, I guess you could say. Like, for example, hold on. Uh, Glow. Ah, uh, no, no, not Glow Jays. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Casper. Hold on, I'm saying, I'm saying. Uh, Casper, boom. You can see his videos, two hour long video. But look, look, I'm gonna show you 130 videos, right? He got hour, almost two hours long, hour and 59 minutes, one hour and 46, two hours and 39 minutes, three hours and 11 minutes, two hours and seven, two hours and 12, two hours and 10. He don't post like, he posts kind of often though for him to have such long videos. But all he do is probably just turn on the camera and just straight vlog. But my thing is different. I don't have to sit there and talk to a camera for the whole time. And I don't have to show them what I'm doing at all times in my life. All I got to do is just vlog a little bit. Like, let's say if it's a less entertaining day. I just vlog a little bit. And whatever I do, I just react to something. And that's it. The most videos are like 20 minutes long anyway. So that's going to make the video with me pausing and talking and all that. It's going to make the video way longer. And give me way more minutes. So this video right here probably gonna end up being an hour long video. It's gonna take a long time to upload, but it's worth it because it's gonna be entertaining. And it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna have my watch hours too, you feel me? Okay. So I'm giving y'all the behind the scenes and the tips and tricks and all that. But I'm streaming tonight. It's currently 
5. I'll probably start streaming around 9, 30, 10, maybe. I'm going to upload this video. And I'll probably start streaming after that. Well, I got to make a promo post for my clothes brand. If y'all haven't caught any aroma, go to yawotv.com right now. Hold on, I'm going to show you. I'm going to remind y'all. I feel like I haven't promoted my clothing brand in a little while. Yabotv.com. Boom. Go down. Enter. Bye. I'm saying. I probably need to get some of these for the summer, though, to be honest. I might just. I'll probably get great ones, maybe. Cool. But yeah. Make sure y'all boys. And then once it get back cold outside. You know what I'm saying? You can go to sweatshirt route, right? you feel me? And don't forget, y'all boys, we got different colors too. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. And they go with the pants. I can't even find it. And they go with the pants though. So you can go sweatshirt. I showed y'all this in the other video, but I'm, I'm going to remind y'all, even though I showed y'all already. Put it, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Dang, why is it? I'm not tweaking. All right, boom, right there. Go to that. And right here. These two go together. S same thing with the hoodie and the, you know what I'm saying? Using my combo, I use is these two. That's why they're right next to each other, though. But, yeah. And I'm going to suggest y'all. I got used to the snap case. I ain't glass. So, snap case is still smooth. But the case I suggest is probably this one. This one's tough. And it's very, like, if you want to really protect your phone a lot, use this one. But I use the other one and it still protect my phone. So, no cap. Pick whatever you like better. But just go to GabbleTV.com. No cap. And get some good clothes, get some new accessories, things of that nature. But if you made this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We out.